Today I'll be tying the rock crawler caddis. It is a Euro nymphing fly shown to me by my buddy Will. It works well as a dropper or anchor fly and yeah there's a couple different variations. This is a caddis variation. Um, I've also tied it in the scud variation which almost acts as a waltz worm and yeah it's a very versatile fly and it works very well in most of the rivers around me. So we're going to start off with a size 16 jig hook and a 1 8 inch tungsten bead and we'll get going from there. I'm going to start out by wrapping some lead wire around the shank of the hook 10 times or so. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Um, I'm just going to break that off on both ends and then I'm going to push that up into the bead to make sure the bead doesn't go anywhere. Today I'll be using 210 denier orange thread. Um, I believe it's ultra thread, yep. Uh, starting right behind the lead and going just to the barb of the hook, going back forward, wrapping over that lead wire to make sure it doesn't go anywhere, and starting to create a little bit of a taper behind that lead wire. I'll go in, clip off that excess thread. Next I'm going to be using some silver wire, silver ultra wire, I believe it's their medium size. I'm going to take a two inch piece, I'm going to start just behind those lead wraps and I'm going to wrap it backwards like so. And then I'm going to take some turkey feather, I took two strands off the feather and I'm going to tie those in back there as well and wrap forward just like so. Alright, so from there I'm going to get some green ice dubbing on my thread. I believe this is caddis green actually. You can do regular dubbing, you can use um, rabbit dubbing, squirrel dubbing, you name it. Um, just in green works best for me. Again with the variations you can use other colors and whatnot. Um, so yeah, I'm just making sure I got enough on there to make a nice body. Uh, yeah, that should be good. So I'm going to take wrap, wraps forward trying to make a little bit of a thicker body. I want to make sure I can get all the way up to behind that hook eye. Got to add just a pinch more. Just like this. Alright. Just make sure it's all the way up to the back of that bead there. Then I'm going to take my turkey, fold it over, and get a couple wraps on that. One, two. And then we'll um, cut that off. Next I'm going to be taking the silver wire, I'm going to wrap that forward as well, I'm trying to do as even of wraps as I can. So there's one, there's two, there's three, and then we're going to finish it on the fourth wrap here. So we'll go like that, then tie it off, one, two, three, four wraps, and then we're going to spin off this wire, just like that. From here I'm going to take it, I'm going to whip finish it like this. Make sure I pull down tight on it. Got that nice little orange hot spot there with the thread. Just like that. Alright, to finish it you can put UV resin on. I can put some Sally Hansen's on. Just a little bit of a dab. Uh, nothing too special. So we'll just take this, put on the bodkin. We'll just put right on those thread wraps, like so. Alright, so that's the Rock Crawler Caddis. Um, super quick fly to tie, doesn't really feel bad if you hang it up in a tree or some rocks. Um, again, super effective Euro nymphing pattern. There's tons of variations you can do with it. And yeah, great overall fly. Thanks.